A. Ocala. minutes after nine o'clock it's starting to look pretty nice out there the uh overcast is becoming less overcast and the sun is coming out that must mean jim george is around go gadget go go gadget go <laughs> Jim George is here. He is our Professor Gadget. He's the guy who knows what's going on in the world of technology. He's been doing this for a long time. And, of course, we also talk about cable TV. And uh, he's got some new products he wants to uh, share with us and maybe unveil a new name if that's up to him. And uh, good morning, Jim. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Can you hear me now? How come I don't hear you? One, two, three. Uh, there, no, no, there you go. No, no, ah, no, I can no, hear myself no, now. Okay. okay. Uh, there's a couple things in the news. There are. There's this one. Elon Musk wants us to have internet from outer space. I saw that. Now, what, is, what does that mean? Well, he apparently thinks he has a, a methodology for beaming. Um, in other words, it's easy to receive. It's hard to transmit. Hughes, H-U-G-H-E-S, satellite, uh -huh. for years has had uh, a dish that you can buy, and it's for a construction site. So you go out on a construction site, no power poles there, nothing there. Well, how do you get internet to that little trailer that you're trying to build a huge Walmart or trying to build? Right, a, right. right. So you put up a satellite dish and you receive and you send internet through the satellite channel. And one's called Blue Sky. There's different companies, but the cost of that's like $5,000 a month for like five meg. Oh, wow. I wow. Mean, because you're out in the middle, but it's the only connection you have. Wow. So apparently he's going to try and revive that and do it from outer space where you um but I don't I don't really understand that that, that would be geo geosynchronous satellite dishes everywhere. Well, well listen to what it says though and this is the part that'll blow you away. Uh Elon Musk plans to launch 4 thousand satellites there you go oh my goodness 4000 satellites in order to serve a meaningful number of customers and what do you think a satellite launch cost i don't know i've got like 500 million dollars <laughs> the, sa the satellites have to be tiny probably. tiny cheap and disposable the satellites have to be tiny cheap and disposable yeah, that ain't gonna happen that's a lot. Now, I picture satellites being the size of a school bus, but they can be, what, the size of a wallet or something? No, no. <laughs> when they say tiny? How, how tiny? No, tiny would be the size of a vo small Volkswagen Beetle. Oh. oh. Okay. Well, that's what was great about the space shuttle program, because if satellites needed to be tweaked or anything like that, they would grab them with the arm, bring them in the shuttle, the astronauts would fix them, and then put them back out in space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if they were the size, let's say, of a basketball or a larger beach ball, then the shuttle could take up multiple ones and such. But mm -hmm. to launch multiple ones, uh, it, it cost a fortune. But if the guy's got the money, hey, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't really know much about Elon Musk. I don't either. So the other thing in the news today was that today is the day that net neutrality rules go into effect. Yes, yes. All the, all the chatter. What does that actually mean? Again, I know you've gone this over a few times, but well, you know, what does it mean for you in, in your business? Well, for me, it, it, it enhances me. But for the big boys, CenturyLink and Comcast and Bright House, they're upset. Um, because that means they cannot throttle me you know deny me a certain speed oh okay they so the, the, it's the small mm, guy versus the big guy right they cannot deny me access to service and they cannot charge me more than they charge their favorite company so if they have a favorite company let's assume for sake of argument that broadcast feeds the city of ocala and they give the city of ocala access for x dollars per meg if i if i want that same service they have to sell it to me for the same they cannot deny me service, and they cannot gouge me. Hmm. And they don't like and that. And who enforces that, the FCC? Yes. As a oh, matter of okay. fact, in the, in the news release I got, it says the FCC is now the referee. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. All you got to do is yeah. report you're being gouged or report what, what's going on, and they will jump on them crazy. So what it, what it sounds like it means to us, the average consumer, is that we no longer have to go to the big guys and pay what they demand. We can go to you, pay your lower rate 
right? Well, I don't do internet a, a, service as such, but but a, but a small guy. That's, yeah, if not yeah small, you. But in other words, like let's say Doug wants to start up his uh, Doug Tunes. Doug. All right. Mm-hmm. He, wants wow. to, he wants to do Doug Tunes, and he wants to be on Cox Cable because there's so many people on Cox Cable. Okay. And he wants to have a, a streaming channel. And he goes to them and they say, uh, give me your financials and tell me how many subscribers you have and tell me how long you've been in business. And he says, I'm not in business yet. I have no subscribers and I have no financials. Well, they're going to, they, they want to charge him a higher rate. You know, he's almost like a risk almost. And what net neutrality says is you can't do that. Now, you can demand a deposit. So this is good news for you, Doug. Yeah, you know, but you can't, you can't charge him more per bandwidth than you charge American Cable, who buys, you know, hundreds and thousands of megabits per second. Right, right, right. So the small guy can, can, can be on tomorrow morning. Now, there is going to – what the court said was although they denied um, the large boys trying to stop it from going into effect, they still can sue if they want to. Um, the, the Fifth District Federal Court said, no, you can't – you know, you cannot stop it. But they can go to the Supreme Court. So they can jump right away to the Supreme Court. Hmm. And the Supreme Court has said they will fast track it. Mm-hmm. So if the big boys want to come to them and want to stop it in, in, at the Supreme Court, they will listen to it right away. Now, who do you pay your money to when you get it from the consumers? Are you bound by his the wife. FCC <laughs> to pay it to them or to pay no, it to the no, U.S. The, government? Um, or how do it you depends who operate? You, whose system you're on. If you want to be on Bright House's system because they have a certain territory or, or mm-hmm. Comcast, you, you pay them. Okay, so you just can't go on a cable system for free. The person that, like yourself, has to pay them. Well, let's, 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 let's assume it's Netflix for a second. If you want Netflix at your house, you pay Netflix. Right. What you, what you don't know is that Netflix behind the scenes pays Comcast or oh. CenturyLink a fee for that. Oh, but what okay. the FCC is saying, <laughs> no, you cannot charge them a fee. Mm-hmm. You can't, and th- it, so it starts today, huh? If the fee is designated as an access fee, in other words, the right to be on the system, you can't charge it. Every, everybody has a right to free internet, free internet access, mm-hmm. not free internet. It, internet, you got gotcha. to pay for right, it. Right, right, right. Exactly. So, um, so I won't have to pay Cox or anybody else. Now, if I want the bandwidth, mm-hmm. in other words, I need more speed and I need more power, then I, I'll pay for that, but I'll pay for that like everybody else pays for it. Oh, okay. I will not be gouged because I am taking up their bandwidth. I'm going to pay for their bandwidth. Wow, wow. Good for you. You're honest. So in, in the world of gadgets, Apple had this big announcement, I guess, on Monday, and I guess people who pay attention to this stuff were disappointed because there wasn't really much new. So they come out with, with why, why even issue a news release we have something new when it's really just a, 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 an upgrade of something that already exists? That you get people excited and there's nothing really there. So. Well, yeah, you have to, the big boys have to do press releases every so often in order to keep the stock prices up. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had a call yesterday from a friend of mine who's suing DirecTV, and he's been keeping a very low profile, uh, but the judge has ruled that all of the 38-some-odd patent infringements that he's claiming uh, DirecTV is violating are, are being upheld. And so now he's doing a press release, and he wants to do a press release uh, not just for his own benefit. He's in his 80s and he'd like to have someone know that he was the inventor of all this stuff long before DirecTV came around. Oh, really? <laughs> but he'd like also to make direct hurt. In other words, the stock price of DirecTV will go down. Uh-huh. They're being sued for $800 million plus. Wow. You know? Wow. And so um, what that will do is that will almost tell DirecTV, hey, let's, let's settle this right now. Do smaller, let's not go to court. Do smaller companies like yourself have to be publicly traded, or can you be private? Private. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're private. It would it, Public just means you, you get some public funds from individuals out there, but the paperwork... It's so costly. All the, you know, you have to have SEC certificates, mm-hmm. and, and all that kind of stuff. So now, yeah. private. Oh, okay. private. All right, we'll take a little break. In. All right. Break. When we come back, I want to tell you about a gadget that I saw oh. on the internet. All right. Battery operated. Probably. All right. Probably. Those are fun. <laughs> all right. We'll take a little break. We'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by myfwc.com. Safe boating is no accident. 
Today, partly sunny, a high of 88 to 91. Then tonight, mainly clear skies, a low of 70 to 76. Tomorrow to start the weekend, partly sunny, a thunderstorm in parts of the area for the afternoon, a high of 89 to 94. And then to round out the weekend on Sunday, partly sunny, a thunderstorm in spots in the afternoon, a high of 88 to 96. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Evan Duffy. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Fidgeting can make it easier to lose weight. Many couples think that once they're married, all their issues with in-laws will disappear. But Steinorth says a marriage magnifies these problems. So if you're having family clashes with potential in-laws, it's best to resolve those issues before you get married. Just like couples can take out a loan for a house or a new car, there's been a huge surge in loan companies catering to wannabe parents. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Stay informed on everything going on in the villages with the Village Spectator newspaper. The Village Spectator is exclusively devoted to the villages with news, commentary, and more. And yes, they have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs, and all we ask is that you tell them where you heard about them. Call Tom's Picks at 804-1223 and pick up your copy of the Village Spectator today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA, The Source, every night from 2 to 6 a.m., and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep, and neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us, 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara, and me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment right here on WOCA, The Source. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new yep, truck. Yep, we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. Prices and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer up charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. All right, 17 minutes after 9 o'clock, Jim George is in the studio from uh, American Cable Services, and he's our Professor Gadget. By the way, the phone calls are invited. You are asked, invited, welcome to call 622-9622 to ask Jim a question. So let me tell you about the gadget. Sure. It is called the Polaroid Cube. Have you seen this? No. It is a little camera. It is a uh, video camera with a microphone, and I believe it takes stills also, and it is literally the size, maybe one inch by one inch by one inch, mm -hmm. it, it is literally a cube. Okay. So they compared it on the internet to the GoPro. Yep. And pretty much was good in all circumstances except bumpy rides, like on a bicycle. Mm -hmm. And like a GoPro will smooth it out and, and, yep. and keep the picture nice. So the, the uh, Polaroid cube, no. It's just <laughs> bouncing all over the place. But my worry is... That somebody's going to decide to just kind of stick one of them in the ladies' room or in, in, in different places and get, you know what I mean? Yeah. You yeah, know, you know. exactly. When you, when you can have cameras that small, and $99 is the price. Right. Yeah. That small, that cheap, and that unnoticeable because it doesn't look like a camera. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I noticed that I, I got a call yesterday. I, I don't know how I missed it, but it was a, a company probably was the one that's bringing the product out that you mentioned. And they, uh, they're specializing in work vehicles. And they want you to put a camera on your dash uh -huh. and a camera in your rear, in your rear of the car or okay. van. Thank you for saying in your car. And the whole idea is that now you're recording down the, as you go down the road. Now, the camera is self-contained. So the recording is in it. You don't have to have a, you don't have to take the video and, and, and put it somewhere. Okay. Oh, it's, okay. it's in it. So like if you were driving down the road and you saw an accident, you could put a thumb drive into it and download what was in the camera. And, and I think it does eight hours of recording. 
So after, and so it records over itself every eight hours. Okay. So if you were home, you'd just turn the camera off because it's in your parking lot, let's say, your driveway. And then next day, you could start up again. as you. So you could record only the time you were actually driving. Got it. So right. eight hours could literally be several days for you. Sure, yeah. Right? And, and they're, like you said, it's like $199 for this kit, two cameras. I think that's a great idea. That's I'd love to have one on my oh, dash. I see stuff all the time. Camps. I go, you got to be kidding me. The guy cut that guy off. Or, yeah, you see it all the time. Uh, all the yeah, time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they, they, they have all these videos out of Russia. It sounds. It looks like everybody in Russia has a, a dashboard camera. It yeah. does. <laughs> right? Yeah. And, and I was reading about this, and it's because of insurance. Like, insurance companies are very hard to get to pay anything. So you almost have to prove that you were in an accident that wasn't your fault. Mm-hmm. And, and so that's why they all have these dashboard cams. So I need four cameras, one on each side of my car, plus the front and back. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. need it everywhere. Yeah. But anyway, it's very interesting. So theoretically, if you had a, a detached garage, if you, you, know, you put a camera out there. Mm-hmm. It sure. only records, the, and you can get a device that will start it up when motion. So it only records when motion. Mm. So it's sitting there doing nothing. As soon as the cat walks by, the dog, a neighbor, it turns on, starts to record. Mm-hmm. When it sees no motion after three or four minutes, it shuts itself that back down. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, those are those are really. I yeah. You know, I think everybody that is in a high prone area, you know, I wouldn't want to. I mean, I wouldn't need one because I know all my neighbors and they, you know, they come over all the time. Well, I don't want to record them coming in my yard and handing me a package that was <laughs> right, delivered to right, them right. by mistake because yeah. right. the, the UPS guy says, I ain't coming back here. Let me let me deliver <laughs> it to the neighbor. Right. But um, especially a business like yourself here, I mean, you put them wherever you want to. You can see people walk by. Because it's kind of hard for us to, to tell the listening audience what we see out this window. Well, I mean, you could talk about the sky being a little overcast, but (laughs) I mean, I've seen some stuff out this window. I don't want to repeat. Yeah, but it keeps life interesting. It's very entertaining. Oh, yeah. Take a uh, not take a break. We're going to go to a phone call. Good morning. You're on the air with Jim. Yeah, good morning, guys. Jim. Going to change the subject a little bit here. Uh, The other day, I had a conversation with my my son up in Wisconsin. I got four grandkids up there. Everything they own electronically, games and you name it, it runs on batteries. And uh, he asked me if I ever had experience with a a battery charger, you know, for like AA, AAA and that, and if it would be worth the the expense to uh, buy something like that. And I know the rechargeable batteries are a little more expensive. Uh, What what, would be your uh, thought on that? Well, I have both. I have the charger type that will charge the 9 volts and the 1.5 volts, whether they're AAA, AA, uh, C, or D. And I also have the throwaway type. Uh, the problem with the throwaway type is, you know, the landfill is getting f- full, and um, so, you know, you keep throwing them away. But they're so cheap. Like, I went to Harbor Freight yesterday and bought 24 AAA batteries for $1.99. Nice. Now, wow. now, the, now, the buy a AAA battery itself, you know, a pack of six, let's say, that are rechargeable, could be, let's say, 20 bucks. But you can charge them for maybe a year. So you have to ask yourself, you know, and you have to, have to keep the charger plugged in, of course. You know, you have electricity. So the, the bottom line is it, it's probably the same when you do dollars and cents wise. But if you're real thrifty in the sense that um, you're trying to keep the environment safe, then you, the, the rechargeable ones are better than the landfill throwaway type. What do the rechargers sell for about? They're, they're cheap. They're like $9, maybe $12 max. And when you open them up, oh you'll see where it holds all the different sizes all in one. Do you need a different one for a 9 volt battery? Nope. They make one unit, and you'll see where the 9 plugs in, and you'll see where the C lays in there, the D lays in there, the AA and AAA. It just, they all, you just put them in where they go, and you're done. But I think the most it charges is... Uh, Four AAAs, four AA's, two C's, and two D's, and oh, and one Where'd nine you, volt at the same time. Right. Where would be a good place to buy a recharger? I think you can even get them at Sears here in the mall. I know Radio Shack sells them, but you might even try Lowe's or Home Depot. They probably have them. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome. That portable charger that you gave us from one of the in the yep. gadget days, you gave us some gadgets. Yeah. Well, how much does that cost normally? Uh. Four or five dollars. Four or five dollars, and and that will charge your phone and your and whatever else other right. device you have. Right. Now I'm getting ready to go to the trade show here uh, Tuesday. No, Wednesday, and I hope if they have some more, I'll bring back a bunch of them. But the the ones that you buy, you can buy for like nineteen ninety five or twenty seven ninety five. Uh, those will charge your cell phone in under three minutes. 
Wow. Charge it from wow. a dead, dead, dead well, all what, the way up. And, and why doesn't it charge that quickly when you plug it into the wall? I mean, you're literally connected to the to the pure electricity. I mean, it, it seems I, like it should be quick. It, it does seem that way, but it's, it's the way the chargers are made, and you're doing battery to battery, so you're basically dumping all the charge that's in one battery to another battery. On, so that's why it's quicker? Right. On the on the 110 type, the little wall, wall warts, we call them, that you plug in, they're just trickle charging the battery. In other words, they're, they're charging it over a long period of time on purpose. But the the one, the the, the, uh, the, the battery to battery one is charging it on purpose fast. So the battery that you charge, do you charge that in the wall or you on do. your computer? Or, oh, or, oh. or both. You can charge it on your computer too. Yeah. But, but that's trickle charge, right? That's, so that's trickle. You trickle charge it, and then it downloads to your your cell phone immediately. So you keep that like in your pocket or your suitcase anyway, anyway. if you're going someplace yeah, my daughter i see she'll sometimes have her sitting right on her front seat plugged into her cigarette lighter keeping it charged and then whenever she's somewhere and the battery's low uh she just plugs in now years ago you had to buy a spare battery and you keep the charger right. at home with an extra battery you don't have to do that anymore huh so what's the next generation of that it'll be it'll be built into the device well the new generation you probably have seen them already um you no longer plug your cell phone in you set it on top of this um, electromagnetic. Oh, 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 really? You know where I've seen this? In hearing aids. Yeah. I mean, oh, gosh, 12 years yeah. ago. 12 years right. ago. Yeah, I you was just set it there and it charges. Yeah, these hearing aids, right. they were very expensive, first of all. And the, the ladies at Park Place that used them were the richer of the ladies. So I know that they were not something everybody could afford. And they literally would charge their hearing aids. I don't know, they put batteries? I don't even know how a hearing aid. Well, it's aid. done by, yeah, the battery's in it. It's done by induction. In other words, they have a coil in that thing, and it and it radiates, and those, those that field of force, e EMF. So, so maybe know, the just, price went down. Maybe that's why it's more common now. Yeah, but, I mean, cell phones, now when you buy a cell phone, the, the charger is just a little round disc that you set your cell phone on. You don't even plug it in. Oh, nice. And what happened, the reason, one of the main reasons, if you ever looked at your cell phone, you're wearing out that connector in the back. Yeah. I mean, you people have actually had to, had to get new cell phones. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with it because the connector's worn out. You can't get another connector. Yeah, it's hard sometimes for me to plug in the, in the exactly. connector. Exactly. And the more you try and the more you beat it up, the, exactly. the worse it is. So mm -hmm. if you can get one that you can basically vibrate, you, you know, this, it's, it's electromotive work. In other words, it's induction coil. Right, right. But right. it's literally creating heat. It's literally charging that battery. Do you know, I don't know if this is out of your realm, but I have a question about phones. Um, we have, Robin has at her place, a landline that we use to, for when we, mm -hmm. you know, people book us to, sure. to play places, which is not that often. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I was thinking, wouldn't it, be, wouldn't it be nice if we could get that phone number onto her cell phone so that her fel cell phone would ring either way, whether it's on that line or... Piece of cake. How? Well, she can, number one, she can do what's called forward, call forwarding. Well, that I know. Okay. okay. Or she can do what's called follow me. So it rings at the house. After two rings, if you don't answer, it will call a next number. If that doesn't answer, it'll call. It follows you wherever you oh, go. Oh, okay. It's but, but could you do it and get rid of the first phone? I could. Yes, you, you could. You literally will not need a phone. All you do is is forward the number, and then you can just you you've got to have a number. Right. But the cheapest number that you could get uh, would probably be about twenty some odd dollars. You know that's that's a real phone. It, by, by that I mean yeah. it has the features. I think that's what me, Matt Wilkerson offers, offering. right? Like a twenty dollars. Yes, thing? exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He can do it, and he can set it up for you, and it will follow you anywhere you go. That's and that's and if it calls her two rings and she doesn't answer, it'll call you next. Mm -hmm. It'll keep going to somebody else. I won't know what to say. What do you want to say? Yeah, who who did? <laughs> 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 uh, Robin, who? Yeah. So yeah. What's what's your plan for the weekend? Anything good? Uh, yard work. That's all. Because I'm gonna be out of town Monday and Tuesday, putting in a fire alarm pa uh, panel down in Walmart in Winter Haven oh, nice. for their new superstore, and then Wednesday I'm going to the convention. In and, Orlando. And, and oh, in Orlando, okay. Infocom, all about audio and video. Oh, Everything audio and video. Gotta be fun. Did any, anybody ever show up wearing a costume? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially the girls they bring into the booths to make sure you come into the booths. Oh, there Those you are go. some costumes. I need to take some pictures and bring them back for you guys. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to see the way Those the are, are some pictures, are I can tell you that. So will you be here Friday then? To I will. Us, I will. Oh, okay. Friday. So it's a one-day affair then? Actually, it goes on all week, but I, I'm, one day is about as much as I can take. 
break. Um, oh, now okay. in October, I'll be going to a five-day convention, and I'll see if I can get someone on Friday. That's in New Orleans. All right. 20 oh, seconds. Okay. What's your phone number? Wonderful. 854-9795. Call Jim. Ask your questions or have some cable put in, and, and we'll tell you about the a la carte another day. Because something is in on the horizon. You right? got yep. it. You got it. It's exactly. happening. All happening. Right, we'll, we'll be right back. Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. A court appearance today for Nicholas Ravinsky, arrested in connection with a Boston terror plot. Federal authorities say Ravinsky is connected to Osama Rahim, who was shot by investigators when they tried to question him about a plot to attack police. Rahim had been under surveillance and was confronted because he'd bought knives.